My hello Chanceyans, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing my annual birthday makeup video with all the with the stuff that I bought on my birth like during my birthday vlogs and everything and some added stuff like foundation and concealer and primer and stuff like that like under eye primer with the Jaclyn Hill um, we have the Tatcha rice wa um, the Tatcha birthday gift from Sephora and, and most of the stuff that you guys saw on my channel before with the vlog but then I also have the mascaras I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, the Milani Powder Foundation that I used to set my face. So what are we waiting for? Let's get right into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Cream. Well, not night cream, but night repair. Actually, no. No, I lied. I'm going to go ahead and use the Tatcha Dewy Skin, the Dewy Skin Cream. And just mm, take it on the fingers. Definitely smells really good. Now who's ready for some new products to be launched next year? I can definitely say that the Dewy Skin Cream has fragrance in it, which is um like on sensitive skin tones, it's definitely like makes the skin act up. And for primer, and for primer today, I'm going to use the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. Now how do I open it right here? Okay. And just prime my Base. It's supposed to be like the regular silk canvas, how it's like pour, uh, pore blurring and all of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the Jaclyn Hill. Use the Hydrating Under Eye Primer by Jaclyn Hill, the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and my, and then I will be back for concealer because I have a new sponge for concealer that I want to try. So yeah, BRB. So for concealer today, I have the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline, and this is a go-to for me. Like, I love this the applicator. The color goes perfect with everything. With, like, all my foundations. And it's just the perfect shade and consistency that I love. So, we're going to go ahead and try the e.l.f. Camo Concealer um sponge to see how well it blends everything out it shouldn't be too bad i know laura lee has a similar sponge to this on her channel eventually i want to do sponges but i just um like sponges and brushes would be the one thing that wouldn't be natural on my channel like on my um, brand probably because like I'd want a good sponge that everybody can use 
but I'd also want to probably find like do re like research on a biodegradable um, sponge that would work for everybody. Cause why not? So I definitely love the sponge. It definitely blended out perfectly. So next up I have two different like a bronzer and a contour so yes i did from the last video when i did the um make the haul from the birthday vlog i had a shimmer with the fenty beauty i actually took it back i think that same day and exchanged it for the contour that I originally wanted so we but we have both that one and then I also have a new makeup revolution cream bronzer I was just struggling to take the tape off um this is what it looks like it's not as big of a pan as the bronze like the powder bronzers of makeup revolution but this is, it says that it's supposed to be medium, but it looks dark, but I've tried darker bronzer slash contours before that I've blended out to be like good, but this is looking to be like a cool toned, maybe not on the camera, but it's definitely looking cool toned in person so yeah you see it's kind of like cool toned but the Fenty Beauty contours definitely has a warm undertone but we're gonna try both of them today and see which one I like better so I'm gonna do Fenty, the one that I have high hopes for on this side and then I will take another brush my elf flawless concealer brush which i also sometimes use for bronzer and just go in to the pan oh yeah that's definitely really dark definitely gonna have to have a sponge for this one pigmented for sure Yikes, that is definitely pigmented. And it's creamy. It doesn't help that it went straight into the pan. So, yeah. And I definitely love the Fenty Beauty. The Fen I, I didn't I knew not to use a lot with this stick. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish the face off with the with Fenty Beauty. Um not going in too harsh. Um I am using a Jeffree Star brush, which I know. Boo. But it's the only other brush that I had that can blend out. Like, this is a good brush to blend bronzer out anyways. So, and I knew that. That's also why I have this one, which is what I usually use. But it's time for that one to be cleaned. I did use, I don't know, but I'm definitely loving how the Fenty Beauty is looking on my skin. Definitely a lot better than this side. I'll definitely give the Makeup Revolution another try. Figure... I'll like figure the whole entire thing out. I know stick bronzer and contours are usually easier to use. So it definitely takes some working with the pan and especially like a formula like this, it's a little bit thicker than I'm used to. Not even Elf's um, putty bronzer is that thick. So we're just gonna go ahead and set the face now and then get on with the rest of the products.
and I am so ready for Jaclyn Hill's duo. Just gotta brighten up real quick before I set the face. did just get this in the mail so I definitely love the how big the packaging is it definitely is big for like worth the price for you it's four fluid ounces so it's definitely worth like the $20 because like if my setting spray was to be four fluid ounces it'd be like 30 something dollars just putting that out there like it would literally be $30. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and go in with the Jaclyn Hill Blush Bronzer Duo in Sunkissed and Bronze Moment. I definitely love the container, how it literally will stop there. And it's so easy to open. So I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer. This is definitely weighty, but you, um, I can't really tell how heavy it is. Um, can definitely blend that out a bit more. And now for the, going in with the blush. This is so pretty. It's definitely, the bronzer is definitely pigmented while the blush, you have to like pack it on, which really sucks. But I, I do get where it's getting at. Like you want the bronzer to be more pigmented than the blush because not everybody likes a pigmented blush. So it's definitely gonna be more like different consistencies anyways no matter what product you're using it's still gonna be like oh you go from a blush to a bronzer it's being a like working with cosmetics recently i've noticed that like some ingredients will be more will affect products differently than other ingredients even some flavorings with products change the way that it that the product runs so you have to change up the ingredient list for that specific flavor not ingredient list but like consistency so i definitely love the blush on here and let's go into a highlighter um i have color pops Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in Shade Wisp. I don't get why it says Pearlized. I mean, I know that they put mica powder in here, but... Let's go ahead and see how it looks. The brush is even picking anything up. My blood brush isn't picking anything up. It's 
It's not too bad. Definitely takes it needs a different brush because this is like a creamy. Yeah, it's definitely a cream, and I didn't realize that. Oops. Well, how did I not realize that it was a cream? I really don't know. But hey, it didn't lift my foundation, so we're good. And now, I will be back with the brows done and eyes ready for the next bit. Okay, so now on to the last couple bits. I have the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow in shade Canyon, which is a gorgeous creamy pink shade that I'm just going to go ahead and place all over the lid. It kind of seems like it would be a dupe for the... Um, for what is it the cream the panelly paint pot it's definitely really creamy you probably cut your crease with this I'm just placing it on the lid, so that is that. And then I will blend it out with another brush. Let's try this one. So that is definitely really creamy. Reminds me a lot of the, um, of Halsey's brand About Face. Like I could definitely see her having stuff like this. I know hers come in a component, but like these are definitely a must have. Like, they dry, I, I can already feel this one drying and I just finished it. But, let me go ahead and do my mascara, be right back, cause it's nothing new, no new, ma no new mascara, um, we just got the Last Princess by Essence and then the So Fierce Eyes Wide Open by Revlon, so I'll be right back. So now that I'm back, I have two different options for my lips. I have the Sephora Hydrating Lip Balm, which with me priming my, not priming, but exfoliating my lips with a secret item that will not be announced yet. I'm gatekeeping it. You know what I mean? are the Superstay Vinyl Ink, which I think with the color that this might go perfectly with this. Oh, wow. It definitely comes right out.
So it's definitely not super pigmented, but it says it's supposed to be like glossy and everything. Liquid lipstick, da 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 da. But like I heard somewhere that it was. Uh, it's definitely really sticky. It's definitely just like a regular liquid lipstick. Nothing too serious. Nothing to shout to the world about. Um, definitely have to give the ColourPop highlighter and uh, Makeup Revolution cream bronzer another shot. Um, love this. Def like it. It's an iffy for a lot of people, but I definitely love, like, the colors and how she set, like, whatever she did with this, she definitely put a lot of thought and energy into. Because the blush and bronzer definitely are perfect for my skin tone. Like, both of them are perfect. Um, on my lids, however, there's definitely no, uh, no budge, um, product. It's just, like, really drying on the lid. So, like, when I blink, it feels like I have a layer on my skin, which is not what I want. So, this was a no for me. I definitely will probably be taking this with me um as a like to like on a go like to go type of thing like wham bam thank you ma'am type of thing definitely love the fenty beauty my uh contour stick definitely perfect i know on screen that the bronzer looks like bleh but in person you can barely see it it's blended out in person, you really can't see the blush. Yeah, you can't even see the blush on camera either. It's probably from the highlighter. It slightly leaves a white cast, but I will still give it another shot because I used it wrong. And that's pretty much it for the new products. Really? I had more. No, that was it. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up in the section down below. Don't forget to give a comment down below. Any video ideas you want me to do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys! Love you!